A spirit is a supernatural being, often, but not exclusively, a non-physical entity, such as a ghost, fairy, or angel. The concepts of a person's spirit and soul, often also overlap, as both are either contrasted with or given ontological priority over the body and both are believed to survive bodily death in some religions, and spirit can also have the sense of «ghost», i.e. a manifestation of the spirit of a deceased person. In English Bibles, the spirit, with a capital «s», specifically denotes the Holy Spirit. Spirit is often used metaphysically to refer to the consciousness or personality. Historically, it was also used to refer to a «subtle» as opposed to «gross» material substance, as in the famous last paragraph of Sir Isaac Newton's Principia Mathematica. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The English word, spirit, comes from the Latin spiritus, but also, spirit, soul, courage, vigor, ultimately from a Proto Indo European asterisk. It is distinguished from Latin anima, soul, which nonetheless also derives from an Indo European root meaning, to breathe. Earliest form asterisk H two E N H one. In Greek, this distinction exists between pneuma, breath, modal air, spirit, and psych, soul. Even though the latter term equals psych, souk, is also from an Indo-European root meaning to breathe. Asterisk BHES, zero grade asterisk BHS devoicing in Proto Greek to asterisk PHS, resulting in historical period Greek PS in Sukane, to breathe, whence Suk, spirit, soul. The word spirit came into Middle English via Old French. The distinction between soul and spirit also developed in the Abrahamic religions, Arabic nafs nf's opposite ra, ru Hebrew neshama nesama ensama or nefesh neps nep, s in Hebrew neshama comes from the root nsm or breath. Opposite ruach, rewa rua. Note, however, that in Semitic, just as in Indo-European, this dichotomy has not always been as neat historically as it has come to be taken over a long period of development. Both neps, root impis, and rewa, root ru, as well as cognate words in various Semitic languages, including Arabic, also preserve meanings involving misk, air phenomena, breath wind and even odor equals topic spiritual and metaphysical usage equals in spiritual and metaphysical terms spirit has acquired a number of meanings an incorporeal but ubiquitous, non-quantifiable substance or energy present individually in all living things. Unlike the concept of souls often regarded as eternal and sometimes believed to pre-exist the body a spirit develops and grows as an integral aspect of a living being. A demon, sprite, or ghost. People usually conceive of a ghost as a wandering spirit from a being no longer living, having survived the death of the body yet maintaining at least vestiges of mind and consciousness. In religion and spirituality, the respiration of a human has for obvious reasons become seen as strongly linked with the very occurrence of life. Spirit, in this sense, means the thing that separates a living body from a corpse 
and usually implies intelligence, consciousness, and sentience. Latter day Saint Prophet Joseph Smith, Jr. taught that the concept of spirit as incorporeal or without substance was incorrect. There is no such thing as immaterial matter. All spirit is matter, but it is more fine or pure, and can only be discerned by purer eyes. Various forms of animism, such as Japan's Shinto and African traditional religion, focus on invisible beings that represent or connect with plants, animals, or landforms. Kami translators usually employ the English word spirit when trying to express the idea of such entities. Individual spirits envisaged as interconnected with all other spirits and with the spirit, singular and capitalized. This concept relates to theories of a unified spirituality, to universal consciousness and to some concepts of deity. In this scenario all separate spirits when connected, form a greater unity, the spirit, which has an identity separate from its elements plus a consciousness and intellect greater than its elements, an ultimate, unified, non-dual awareness or force of life combining or transcending all individual units of consciousness. The experience of such a connection can become a primary basis for spiritual belief. The term spirit occurs in this sense in to name but a few anthroposophy Aurobindo a course in miracles Hegel Ken Wilbur and Mare Baba though in his teachings spirits are only apparently separate from each other and from the spirit in this use the term seems conceptually identical to Plotinus's the one and Friedrich Schelling's absolute. Similarly, according to the panentheistic, pantheistic view, spirit equates to essence that can manifest itself as mind, soul through any level in pantheistic hierarchy, holarchy, such as through a mind, soul of a single cell with very primitive, elemental consciousness, or through a human or animal mind, soul with consciousness on a level of organic synergy of an individual human, animal, or through a superior mind, soul with synergetically extremely complex, sophisticated consciousness of whole galaxies involving all sub-levels, all emanating since the superior mind, soul operates non-dimensionally, or trans-dimensionally from the one spirit. Christian spiritual theology can use the term, spirit, to describe God, or aspects of God, as in the Holy Spirit, referring to a triune God, Trinity, cf. Gospel of Matthew, chapter 28, verse 19. Pneumatology is the study of spiritual beings and phenomena, especially the spiritual aspect of human beings and the interactions between humans and God. Christian Science uses spirit as one of seven synonyms for God, as in, "...principle, mind, soul, spirit, life, truth, love". According to C. G. Jung, in a lecture delivered to the Literary Society of Augsburg, 20 October 1926, on the theme of «nature and spirit», the connection between spirit and life is one of those problems involving factors of such complexity that we have to be on our guard lest we ourselves get caught in the net of words in which we seek to ensnare these great enigmas. For how can we bring into the orbit of our thought those limitless complexities of life which we call spirit or life, unless we clothe them in verbal concepts, themselves mere counters of the intellect? The mistrust of verbal concepts, inconvenient as it is, nevertheless seems to me to be very much in place in speaking of fundamentals. Spirit 
and life are familiar enough words to us, very old acquaintances in fact, pawns that for thousands of years have been pushed back and forth on the thinker's chessboard. The problem must have begun in the gray dawn of time, when someone made the bewildering discovery that the living breath which left the body of the dying man in the last death rattle meant more than just air in motion. It can scarcely be an accident onomatopoeic words like ruach Hebrew, ruch Arabic, roho Swahili mean spirit no less clearly than pneuma, pneuma Greek and spiritus Latin. Psychical research. In all the publications of the Society for Psychical Research the term «spirit» stands for the personal stream of consciousness whatever else it may ultimately be proved to imply or require." James H. Hyslip, 1919 In mysticism, existence in unity with Godhead Soul may also equate with spirit, but the soul involves a certain individual human consciousness, while spirit comes from beyond that. Compare the psychological teaching of Al-Ghazali. <laughs> Related concepts Similar concepts in other languages include Greek pneuma and Sanskrit akasha, atman see also prana. Some languages use a word for spirit often closely related if not synonymous, to mind. Examples include the German geist related to the English word ghost or the French l'esprit. English versions of the Bible most commonly translate the Hebrew word ruach, ru wind, as the spirit, whose essence is divine. Alternatively, Hebrew texts commonly use the word nefesh. Kabbalists regard nefesh as one of the five parts of the Jewish soul, where nefesh animal refers to the physical being and its animal instincts. Similarly, Scandinavian, Baltic, and Slavic languages, as well as Chinese qi qi, use the words for breath to express concepts similar to the spirit. <laughs> See also